Hi, welcome back to Satoku Tech. In the previous video, we learned how to erase the eMMC flash drive on the Banana Pi BPi M6. And I'm wildly interested in burning Android onto the Banana Pi BPi M6 because I saw some APKs for various tests for the AI capability of this board. You're going to want to look down in the description down below for these links. This is where I found the Android image for the BPi M6. You can see I've unzipped it here. And just like in the previous video, we're using the SOC system tool. So we focus on that eMMC image folder that I unzipped. It's checking the image file. Ah, great. It says it's okay. So we're ready to burn that image onto the BPi M6. And again, you're going to want to be familiar with that SOC system tool from the previous video. Yeah, you got to remember to hold down the USB button when you plug it in. That puts it into, basically turns it into a USB drive. There we see, just like last time in the previous video, it says join in and then it says, nah, try again. So we'll go ahead and unplug it and plug it back in. There's the removal. There, now we're back in. Everything's fine. So we've got our image selected. Let's go ahead and select that eMMC. And we're on the image burn tab. So we go ahead and click the burn button. There's the confirmation. Go ahead and hit continue. Now, this took about five minutes in all, and so I'm cropping and compressing here, and basically uh, it was like four three-second segments out of that five minutes we're showing right here. There, the burn is finished. Yeah, exit U-boot mode manually. So we're just going to unplug it from the USB. Yeah, you see there it was about, about five minutes, 5.15 to 5.20. All right, so rate my setup. There's the Raspberry Pi B Pi M6. And I've got it hooked up to this portable monitor and keyboard and mouse, and I've got it hooked up to the Ethernet. Here's the boot. Yeah, this is the first boot. Synaptics. And you got this little colorful animation here. This is all real time. I didn't slow this down or speed this up or anything. Yeah, okay. Now, I've been around Android a long time. I've had Android tablets and such, Android phones. I'm just not used to using a keyboard and a mouse with them, so it took me a second to get my bearings here. First of all, I see, oh, the time's off. we got to do something about the time. Yeah, okay, so clicking on that brings down the settings panel. Okay, that just edits the order of the buttons on the settings panel. Wow, well, I could use the screen recorder on here. That'll come in handy when we do, go to do those AI tests. We're just checking it out in this video, seeing how far I can get without too much <laughs> effort here. All right, let's go into the settings. There we go. I'm going to search for time. Yeah, I scrolled through here and it's not obvious to me, so let's just search for time. Yeah, time zone. Okay. Set time automatically. Set time zone automatically. Well, obviously, it's the wrong time zone. Greenwich Mean Time. Yeah. Okay, so region is the United States. And let's pick a time zone. We're looking for Phoenix, Arizona. There we go. Mountain time. We No daylight savings time. There. Now the time looks correct. We can exit back out. Okay, storage. We got about 43% 43, 43 use. So we got over 50% of the storage available. That's nice. Okay, so we set the time zone. That's cool. Yeah, and then I realized, oh, I can pull up from the bottom, and that gives me a list of the apps that are installed. But I don't see a browser, or at least a good browser, that's installed. Yeah, they got the web app viewer or something like that. 
So I want to want to try to get Firefox on here. That was uh, so I go to the Google Play website because there's no play on in this image. I'm just going to see if I can sideload something somehow. So I'm going to search for Firefox. And I've already signed into Google Play here. It says install on more devices. It doesn't see the device I'm on as being compatible. So bear with me while I play around with this. <laughs> yeah, it shows me my work phone and my burner phone and some old tablet that I don't have anymore. And it's not compatible with that device anyway. Yeah, so it doesn't look like I can load it from here. Yeah, see in the Play Store app, and of course that link doesn't work because I don't have Google Play installed. So we're definitely going to have to sideload somehow. I want to figure that out pretty quick. Let's get rid of this stuff here. So I got the idea to plug in the USB. You see the little USB indicator just popped up there. Yeah, put in a thumb drive. I went and got what I thought was the correct uh, Firefox APK. Yeah, so see here, I'm going to hook up to portable storage. USB drives ready to use. Go back into apps and find the files app. Now yeah, i got to find my USB stick in the files app. There it is, USB drive. This is looking pretty good, but... Uh, okay, yeah, it's asking me if I want to side load, and I sure do. And it gives it a good try. But you see here, it's not compatible with my tablet. Okay, so I'm going to try some different browser <laughs> downloads. There was like 10 different ones for, for Firefox alone. I, I just took the one off the top, but I'm going to try side loading some other browser somehow using the USB drive. So want, want to stay tuned for that. Anyway, look for the links down below to the product page, my previous video working with the EMMC. Give this video a like. And before you go watch more of the Banana Pie videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.